It is a soft desert evening in Tempe, Arizona, in the great American Southwest. As the fields are being cleared now, the combat is at hand. The Warriors have arrived and will burst forth into the great arena in just a moment. The Florida State Seminoles will be the visiting team and they'll be wearing the white shirts. And here come the Seminoles. The opposition, the Tennessee Volunteers, number one, 12 and 0. SEC champions for a second consecutive year. A breath. The game is on. Well into the end zone, no return. Tennessee ball, first down at the 20. The Tostitos starting. And on third down and long, drops to throw and whips it to the near side for Cedric Wilson. And it is in good. Uh, as uh, Durden right here. Reggie Durden, number one, 5'9", 175-pound junior. The punt is away. And there's a penalty flag as the punter is knocked down. Durden with some room to work gets it back on the Tennessee side of the field. He's dancing down the sidelines and he hit the chalk at the 29-yard line. But remember, there's a penalty flag back over here. The uh, kicker was knocked down. Troy Sanders came in and uh, tumbled him. And that's what brought the personal flag foul, out of the pocket. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. Against the defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. Florida State aggressively going after Leverton. Leverton's had some problems. But it's a first down for the Volunteers as the ball comes out to the 37 yard line, and T. Martin lets it go to the sidelines. And the pass is completed to Peerless Price, and Price is going to have the ball on the Florida State side of the field. Call it second down and a long five out of the shotgun now. It's a new set. Martin back. He'll take off with it and pick up the first down and then some. They finally take him out of bounds at the 16-yard line. That's first time in the booth calling the plays. And Jerry Johnson is back in at tackle for Florida State. T. Martin turns and gets to Henry, and Henry is knocked down behind the line of scrimmage as Warren, David Warren, number 99, came to hit this one from 32 yards. He is 19 of 24 this season, and it is no good. And that is rare from 13 yards to go for a first down. That was a big play. Third down, staying in the shotgun. Outs and back for the pass. It's away and uh, not much on it. Travis Miner almost got his balance back. This is not tonight. Martin to the side. Pass is caught. Tackle broken. Yardage gained is about five, maybe Late six. Flag. Martin hands it off to Henry. That's a good solid run by Travis Henry, and he has gone for almost. <laughs> but he will find out. Here's the pitch. Defense after him, and he'll get it after about a yard pickup on the play. And Reacting as if the ball came out, Keith. Yeah, all right. And it did. Florida State took it away from him. Well, the first guy hangs on to the, uh, to the ball carrier, and the next one and two go for the football. Florida State led the ACC conference in takeaways with 30. They got to have somebody to tackle. Second down and 13 now after the three yard loss. Ball is flipped to Lavernus Cole to the burner. And Coles is knocked out of bounds on the Tennessee side of the field at the 44-yard line. Hudson back throwing this time. Nope. Hold it down. And he's going to come up short of his first down. It was third down. Bartholomew and Henry in the backfield for Tennessee now. Martin back to throw it. Pumps it. Now lets it go. And he's got a man. He's complete to Curtis Price. Big play for Price. He's out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Run down by Sean Key. That's what you got to do. You got to attack him on the outside. 
They're so aggressive. <laughs> He's trying to sell it. <laughs> Martin passes away. Passes far. It's touchdown. Sean Bryson, the fullback. <laughs> First down, Florida State. Bowles are just beating themselves right now, actually. Outs and back, gets it in the air. The pass downfield is caught by Dugan. So, Mark. So, first down from the 49 as Warwick goes in motion. They've managed to handle Peter so far tonight. Outson puts it over there. And that's picked off. And it's going to be six. It's Green Goodrich. Touchdown. Hold it. He hooks it, but he gets it in. All to their All-American wide receiver Warwick. Well, there's nothing down there. Tennessee just swung him in the shotgun. Raynock Thompson was the first man to get there. And the middle. Intercepted! Gibson out of bounds, just short of the goal line. Derek Gibson. Bad things can happen when you throw it high down the middle. Well, they keep that same alignment with two fullbacks there. Glenn's lined up on the other side. Hand it back inside. Ball's loose. I think he fumbled it. Loose. Nope. Man over here on this side says it's a touchdown. William McCray went into the pile with it. I saw the ball pop up. But there was a ton of laundry on the two. <laughs> he pops it. It's partially blocked and hits the crossbar and is no good. That's and dead ball. It's dead a dead ball. ball. It was a bad was snap. A bad snap. Bad snap. Never got it up. And waiting for Leverton's punt. That's a better kick. Peter has to go back to the 23. Three guys. He got away from three, four, five. Sixth one got him. Leverton, the punter. Finally made the tackle. And that's why, that's why we keep looking for uh, Warwick to return these punts. He did that. And that's what he wanted to do here. To the end zone. No. Incomplete. Intended for Warwick. And where he won the uh, Rosa Award as the nation's best kicker. 34 yards, they call it. This one's on its way, and it's plenty of leg, and it is good. So, some fireworks. Brighten the sky over. Second down and ten. Martin hit as he throws, but puts it on the money. It's a peerless price. Peerless price has caught three balls now for 120 yards. Remember, he had that big 76 yard. Martin throws a good catch. That's a terrific catch by Jermaine Copeland. Wide, bring one back toward the ball. Copeland, Martin roll it to the left, throw it, drop it. Ball was on the hands of Copeland, covered by Edwards. Copeland couldn't reel it. Well, there's two points to be had if he drops back and passes if you sack him. Ball's away. Inner, almost intercepted. Almost intercepted. Warwick was under it. Johnson was the man reaching for it. I mean, there's a lot of stake here. They're pretty much in field goal range. And obviously, they want to keep them out of there. That'll give them an eight-point lead. They lead by five. They're going for the bundle. It is an intercepted. It's intercepted by Dexter Jackson. And Jackson comes back out to the 20. 
three yard line. His own player tripped him up. Hurts. Hobson back to throw it. Got a catch. Ron Dugans. Well, Dugans has been the big receiver. To and he hit him right in the chest in Absolutely. the back. The ricochet. Travis Miner. That run is all the way down to the Tennessee 30. Minor again. Oh, got that shoulder and pounded the defensive back. Now, now you have to pick up some yardage, I think, to even go for the field goal. Third and 15. And Tennessee just blew it apart. Darwin Walker. What a play. Edith. T. Martin has been put on the ground 11 times tonight. Not as many times as usual when you're playing Florida State. That ball going down the sidelines is caught. Here's Price. It's touchdown. There are no flags. The longest play of the year, 79 yards. It's blocked. The extra point try is blocked. It's 20 to 9. They need to get the ball to their big play people. They need to get it to Pete Warwick. On first down from the 28 yard line, outs and back. Pressure coming. They got him. Ball loose. Tennessee's got it. Tennessee recovers the fumble. Billy Ratliff hit him from the blind side. The ball came out. And that big push sound. Uh... Stevens will get down for a yard or so. Brian Allen on that tackle. Now here comes uh, Jeff Hall. Boy, this is big. Good. 6 one to play in the ball. Florida State. I mean, the Knowles really went after it to get themselves in shape. Oxen's pass down the middle. He's got Dugans, and he's got some room. And he's down inside the 10, down to about the seven yard line before he is brought down by Renock Thompson. Got a hole up the middle for Outson. Touchdown. Marcus Outson just squeezes it out. And it's a touchdown for Seminoles. Before he was in the end zone. Points good. Three minutes in the nation that's been kind of uh, uh, dented here tonight. I think you kick it deep. There you go. The other way. Did it Didn't go. Did it go? And they got the ball. Uh, Janikowski, the kicker, went down and covered it. Tennessee was ready. They had touched the ball before it went ten yards. The result of the play was to accept it at the spot of touching. First down. Uh, didn't think so. The second game. They're going fourth and uh, maybe even a little more than a yard. Martin throws. It's completed. It's a first down to Sean Bryson out of the backfield. All the way down to the 10. He stepped out of bounds on the 11. Ball game there. Nice call. And George Cathedral. All loose. Florida State's got it. Henry went into the line and lost the football. He never had it. He never had it from the exchange. It was a fumble right from the get-go. 129 to play. Well, let's see what the rooster can do. Let's it go big down the middle. Lavernus Coles is under it. The ball is intercepted. Steve Johnson. And that 
Well, he now has security, and his football team has won a national championship. And uh, it's fun to see. And I congratulate him. Bobby Bowden, of course, is a longtime legend, and he too will congratulate Phil Fulmer because the Tennessee Volunteers felt they might very well be a team of destiny. They talked about it quietly, discussed it with the kind of respect that you had to have for it.